Hey guys, doing a quick unboxing today of the game Hull Breach uh, in Defiance of Dictators. This is the third game in a series of three. Um, the previous versions were called, let's see, I don't know what they were called, but uh, Corporate Wars and Loyalty and Vigilance. So we're going to open this up. It just came out um, at Mace this year in Charlotte, North Carolina. It was funded on Kickstarter and like I said, there's three other games in this world. Uh, they're really big on really great art and really great storytelling. Uh, I had an opportunity to demo it just a little bit while I was there. Lots of really cool components should be in this box. If I can get them all out, take a look. So we've got our tactical quick start guide with some instructions and uh, details on the different parts of the game. Basically this is a card combat game and this is uh, like a military expansion. You've got your technical manual. It's uh, it's a little bit heavy on rules because it's uh, it involves a lot of strategy and there's some dice rolling and cards and and when you get into the game you'll find out that there's like four different decks in this uh, in this version of the game. Yeah, you can see them right here. So uh, each deck plays a little bit differently. You've also got this um, kind of just storyline with some cool artwork in it um, that tells the story behind these four different factions. And the way the game works is it's a two-player game, to minimum, but then you can play up to however many uh, sets of cards you have for the game. So if you had the previous games, or if you bought duplicate decks, I think you can buy them as one-offs. Um, you could play up to like, I don't know, however many people you can imagine. And I've heard that the game lasts somewhere in the vicinity of 15 minutes for just two players, but then you could go up to like two or three hours if you add more players to it. Um, we'll probably not open this container because I'm having no luck. Oh, open the camera and everything. Um, probably do a review of this game at some point if we can uh, get it out and figure it out and get playing with it. Um, but it's got, it's got some cool stuff, especially with the other editions. So I think the idea of the storyline was that like corporations took over uh, in one of the storylines and then uh, then the military and now you've got these like rebels uh, you can I think you can win this game they added some stuff to it where you can win the game by uh, like monopolizing resources or by killing off your opponents or through um, I don't remember what the word is for it that they use but like diplomacy or something where you can do trade and travel and you can fulfill missions and you can add to your ship and uh, I think there's like space marines that can go on your ship and attack others or protect your own ship. Just some really cool stuff like that. I think you use like these colored token guys to cover up your spots on the board just so you can keep track of where you're at. You've got little damage tokens maybe that tell you how many hits you've taken. And then you've got a bunch of 10-sided die as well. So that looks like the components for Hole Breach. And uh, we'll hopefully get on the table sometime soon. Let us know if you have any comments or thoughts on it. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content just like this. All right, thanks. Bye.